I remember the first time I laid eyes on you. I saw this beautiful, smiling, green-eyed girl sitting in the airport. I didn't know who you were or where you were going, but I thought to myself, man, would I be lucky to see this girl again. When I met you in Italy, I knew that the bond that we shared would lead to a special relationship between us. Here we are today, making the love and commitment that we shared over the last eight years definite. <laughs> the weight of your hands in mine, your eyes the truest sign. You see straight to the depths of me. I truly believe that behind every great man is an even greater woman. I never thought of myself as a great man, but I've always thought of you as the greatest woman and my greater. So by the fact that you've decided to stay with me for the rest of your life, I guess that makes me pretty okay too. Yeah. Thank you for encouraging me to follow my dreams, for being there when I need it most, whether it be to laugh, vent about my latest annoyance, to share some fun gossip, or to simply be a shoulder to cry on. This day was just the beginning of the rest of your lives, and I can't wait to see what's in store for the both of you. Before embarking on this relationship and journey of love with you, I didn't know how deep my love could be for another person. I love you so unconditionally. I truly want the world for you and believe in you and what you have to offer. I feel safe and at home with you. I love you so much, my husband. My love. perfect other hats. You complement each other beautifully and your love and commitment to each other can only mean that there is much joy yet to come. We wish you all the best for the future and only love for both of you. The first time I sat across from you at that dinner table in Rome, I knew I had found someone really special. And ever since that day, nine years ago, I've been the luckiest man in the world ever since. Since that time, we've experienced so much together as partners. We've seen each other start our careers. Time has tested our strength with the passing of loved ones. We have experienced the joys and learning curves of raising a hyper-energetic dog and we bought our first home together and we made it our castle. I promise to always be the man you deserve. No matter what trials and tribulations life throws at us, I will always be there for you to protect you, to offer you my advice and wisdom when you are struggling to find the answers, to make you feel warm when times are cold, to make you feel secure and comforted when times are sad, and to most importantly, to make you feel very special every day. I woke up with you on my mind Watch the air turn as you breathe Yet I'm morning feeling up your eyes Adam, 
I have chosen you to be my forever love, partner in life, and husband. I vow to love you unconditionally, respect you, laugh with you, and adventure with you. I will continue to encourage you in your dreams, support you in achieving your goals, and celebrate you in times of joy and happiness, and stand by you during challenging times. I will always believe in you. I love the life we've built together, including Stella, and am excited for what the future holds for us. Let us be partners, best friends, and lovers today and all of the days that follow. I love you. My wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know somebody loves you and wants the same things too. This is my wish, and I love you. Uh, please join us in a toast to Amanda and Adam. We love you both. Cheers. Cheers. Paul and I have shared so many experiences with you. On their own, those experiences were just brothers doing brotherly things. In isolation, they seem inconsequential. But when you start looking back at those things and stringing them together, it's easy to see how your presence has woven a thread that's run through our entire lives. You continue to shape who we are to this day. We're lucky to call you our brother, and we're proud of the man you've become. The circumstances that brought them together we heard tonight were nothing short of faithful. And although we couldn't have known it back then, I don't think that anyone's surprised that we're gathered here tonight. We couldn't be more pleased to share this moment with the two of you, so guests, if you could please raise your glasses and join us in a toast to the newlyweds. May they live happily ever after. Salute. I remember you and you and I would visit my dad together on the weekends when he was in the hospital. He would want me to tell you this and that when we weren't in the room together, we would talk alone. And I'm sure he would want me to tell you that. You know, my dad would always say, Amanda's a really special girl. If you truly love her, son, never let her go. Well, Amanda, I think both my dad and I really like you. And I couldn't agree more that I'm never going to let you go. I'm so proud to call you my wife today, and I always will love you to the moon and back. 